to Doris and Daddy Alfred. Today we're talking about unintended consequences. Don't you mean synergy, manufacturing, sway bar, relocation brackets? Same thing. This bracket was both a solution to a problem that we had and the cause of the new one. Well... Well... It pushed a problem that we already had past the point where we could ignore it anymore. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Wait! What? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, please. Can we get on with the video? Okay. From the beginning. Well, it was a moonless night back in 1970. Stop. The beginning of the problem. Oh. Dramatic <laughs> After we installed our five and a half inch Rubicon Express coil springs in the front, we noticed that the end of the drag link was rubbing on the factory sway bar bracket. The one attached to the axle. We might have been able to address this problem with a more extended pitman arm or some fancy steering conversion. But we are currently happy with the way that the Jeep drives. And, and the solution was cheap, just like Daddy. Hey. It's true, though. The brackets were only around $25. The brackets we got are the ones that weld to the existing sway bar brackets. Synergy also sells a set that weld directly to your axle. Make sure you order the right ones. We started by cleaning up the metal on the old mounts to get them ready for welding. We removed our springs to give us a little more space, but you could probably do this with them in place. At some point, you will need to commit to this modification by cutting off the end of the old bracket. We held the new bracket in place and drew a line where the old bracket needed to be cut. Since there were no instructions with these brackets, I'm not sure if we were supposed to grind down the ridge on the old bracket. We didn't grind it down on the driver's side, which was the first one we did, but decided to grind down the passenger side. The big difference is how much space needs to be filled while welding. If we were to do it again, I would grind both sides, because we were able to get a nice tight fit that was much easier to clamp together. There isn't much left to say about putting these in place. Just line them up with the old brackets and weld them on. So now, for the consequences of our actions. Our sway bar links were already a bit too long, but now they were unusable. I looked around for shorter links, but couldn't find anything for a reasonable price. He means cheap. We had already started to make a set a while back, but used old shock eyes that were too wide for the mounting bolts. So, we cut those apart and combined them with pieces of the old Rough Country links to make something custom. They turned out pretty good. Thanks. Unless you do a close-up of the welds. We also had to make a new set of storage tabs for when the sway bar was disconnected. Right. The ones that came with the Rough Country links were not long enough to accommodate the thicker uh, homemade sway bar links that we made. So we cut a new set out of some scrap that we had laying around. So what color do you think we painted them? I gave her the choice, and she chose... Dramatic pause. Blue! <laughs> the storage brackets are blue. The sway bar links have, on the other hand, pink, are still pink. Like a lot of our videos, we're making this one because we couldn't find much information about this product. And we thought that it was something that XJ owners might like to see. We hope you found this video helpful. Bye! Thanks for watching! Well, that was dramatic. <laughs>